what if I told you being frustrated, driving for Uber, and eating a sandwich could hold the keys to unlocking massive success? It may sound unbelievable, but it happened. I'm Tori, and as always, in this episode, I'm going to break down the strategies big brands use into actionable, universal lessons that your brand can learn from, no matter the size. Tabitha Brown started her journey in Los Angeles as a stand-up comedian hoping to break into the industry. While winning some small early victories, she faced many challenges in the entertainment industry for over a decade. So she did what all artists do when we face challenges and need more control in our life. She started driving for Uber. During this time, she was battling health issues and looking for a solution. After her daughter suggested the family watch a documentary called What the Health? We decided uh, as a family to do a 30-day vegan challenge. And on day 10, my headaches went away. After seeing improvements to her health during the challenge, she decided to stick to a plant-based diet. This is the moment that Uber and veganism changed her life forever. While parked in a Whole Foods lot after grabbing lunch during an Uber shift, she recorded a video of herself raving about a TTLA. And that's a tempe bacon, tomato, lettuce, and avocado sandwich. I already ate one half of it, but good God almighty, oh my God. The video gained 50,000 views in just one day. By the next morning, it was up to 100,000. Within a week, the video had been viewed over 1 million times and caught the attention of Whole Foods. This brings us to strategy number one, authenticity over everything. Tabitha's genuine love for the TTLA sandwich and her honest enthusiasm in the video resonated with viewers. Her authenticity not only attracted the attention of TTLA lovers, but also Whole Foods itself. They made the TTLA sandwich a permanent item in their stores nationwide and made Tabitha Brown an official brand ambassador. The produce section of Whole Foods Market is amazing. I mean, look at this place. Child, and they have the widest variety of local and organic seasonal products that I've ever seen. She acts as a public representative and advocate for Whole Foods promoting their products and values, especially those related to plant-based and vegan foods. In many stories, that would be the end. Content creator goes hyper-viral, gets the attention of a major brand, and fades off into the sunset, right? Nope, not Tabitha Brown. Which brings us to strategy two, finding her niche. After gaining viral attention, she used the opportunity to define her niche, to find her voice, veganism and healthy living. This allowed her to create targeted content exclusively for her audience. In 2020, she created a TikTok account, sharing vegan cooking videos and inspirational pep talks. This led to successful collaborations with other brands and the creation of her very own product lines. Cue the top of the brown product timeline. She partnered with Dunkin' Donuts to announce the change nationwide rollout of Planet Oat Oat Milk. She partnered with McCormick to create her own all-purpose vegan seasoning blend called Sunshine. She collaborated with Sabra to endorse their hummus and appear in a snack-to-school kid-friendly video series featuring her own hummus-inspired recipes. In 2021, she launched Donna's Recipe, a hair care line named after her own nickname for her hair. The brand offers a range of vegan hair care products designed to nourish various hair types. She goes on to publish a New York Times bestselling book while also launching her own children's show on YouTube. In 2022, she partnered with Target on a collection of swim apparel and accessories. By 2023, Target expanded her collection to include plant-based grocery items and accessories and quickly sold out in stores and online. This all brings us to strategy number three, consistency. Tabitha consistently leveraged her growing online presence to expand her brand. Whether it's launching new product lines, partnering with established brands, or creating new content, she consistently delivers maintaining the audience's interest and her brand's relevancy. It's all about the momentum. What we're looking at here isn't a one-hit wonder that got lucky. It's the story of a hungry artist who turned a moment into an empire with these three highly effective strategies. Here's how you can use them for your business. Part of Tabitha's success can be attributed to her genuine and authentic personality. You have to be true to yourself in order to create great content that connects with an audience. Don't try to be someone you're not or put on a persona that doesn't align with your true self. We can smell inauthenticity. When your content is solely inspired by others and not true to your own voice, 
it becomes very difficult for viewers to actually relate to you and invest in your brand. Open up to your audiences by sharing your personal experiences, struggles, and triumphs. This vulnerability can help build a strong emotional connection with your viewers, making them way more likely to engage with your content and actually support your brand. In the words of Jay-Z, Don't ever go with the flow, be the flow. Tabitha Brown found success by focusing on her vegan lifestyle and attracting like-minded individuals. Finding your niche helps you create work that resonates with your target audience by narrowing down the focus of your content. Research and define your ideal customer or viewer and then create content tailored exactly for them. Consider their demographics, interests, and pain points. For example, taking a note from Ms. Tabitha Brown, if you have a target audience of young professionals who want to adopt a vegan lifestyle but are completely new to cooking, you could create tailored content like beginner-friendly vegan cooking tutorials, vegan on a budget meal ideas, and even videos showcasing simple, time-saving vegan meal prep techniques. Tabitha Brown's content consistency has been a key factor in helping her grow a loyal following. Two ways you can replicate this strategy are to develop a content calendar and to stick to the schedule. A social media content calendar is a tool used by content creators, marketers, and influencers to plan, organize, and schedule their social media posts. Once you have your plan, it's paramount that you stick to it. Consistency helps to build audience trust and engagement. This wasn't a one-hit wonder that got lucky. Tab of the Brown's journey shows that with authenticity, finding your niche, and consistency, you can achieve monster success in the world of content creation. If you like what you heard, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below to let me know which other business strategies you'd like me to dive into and expose. In the words of Tabitha Brown, remember, have a good day. And even if you can't, don't go around messing up nobody else's. Bye-bye. I can't find this client info. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform, so it shares its data across every application. Every team can stay aligned. No out-of-sync spreadsheets or dueling databases. HubSpot, grow better.